Hello everyone, um, my name is Joshua Forbes and this is my curriculum critique. Um, so the curriculum that I'm uh, critiquing for this presentation is um, from Big Ideas Math, uh, the Bridge to Success series, uh, course two, so that would be about seventh grade, that's what we use in my seventh grade class. Um, I chose chapter six, which is about percents, um, and in that chapter there's seven sections or lessons. Um, and it takes they, they scheduled that it should take about 18 days to teach those seven sections. Um, the objective in the chapter that they give is for students to be able to use proportional relationships to solve multi-step ratio and percent problems. Um, so kind of how the unit or chapter is laid out um, it starts with percents and decimals. Kind of just shows what they are. It talks about the relationship between the two. Uh, then it moves on to comparing and ordering fractions, decimal, percents. Talks about how to compare different uh, fractions, decimals, decimal percents, how to order them. Then it moves on to percent proportions. Shows how um, you can use proportions to solve percent problems. And then percent equations. How you can use an equation to solve percent problems. And then the last three are uh, percent and in increase, decrease problems discounts and markups and simple interest. So that's kind of how the chapter is laid out. So just breaking down each one of those uh, different lessons um, starts with percents and decimals. So one thing I talked about in my uh, individual inquiry was how when you're doing um, percents, they're obviously out of 100, so having a visual to show the students that um, would be great. And uh, talked about how you could use hundreds charts to do that. And this book actually did that. Um, so you can see here on the right, the visual, they uh, have hundreds charts and it's shaded in the different parts. So it's, it's just showing the students how it's out of 100, kind of giving them a visual to see that. Um, it also goes on in the chapter and shows how percents are related to fractions and decimals. Um, and does a pretty good job of demonstrating that to students, how they're related. And then towards the end of the lesson, we kind of get to the point um, where they show the tricks or a uh, you know, faster way to convert amongst the three forms. So I kind of gave the visual down here um, on the bottom left where you're going from percents to decimals, decimals to fractions, fractions to percents, and vice versa. Um, and they give a faster way to do that for the students so they're able to uh, convert eat more easily. So then from there, they um, the next couple days of uh, lessons are about comparing and ordering fractions, decimals, and percents. Um, so once you know how to convert between the two, they show you know how you would change the two different uh, fractions or decimals or percents into the same. Uh, form and then you'd be able to compare more easily um, and then the same with ordering. Um, so they, they gave a little tip there that it's easier to uh, order decimals or percents than to order fractions. So um, that's just kind of a study tip that they gave and it's part of the book but I, I really feel like they do it, they did a good job in these first couple uh, lessons of um, slowing, uh, not slowing it down but providing more of a base for the students, which is something a lot of the articles talked about um, on the history of curriculum, of how it's important to build that you know, um, knowledge early for the student, that base knowledge to where you can get to the more in-depth questions later. I think that this does a good job of doing that in the first couple lessons. Um, so now, uh, the third lesson was a percent proportion. Um, it basically shows um, how you can use proportions to solve percent problems. Um, I, I like the uh, top picture um, that it gave. It was a visual kind of with the bar method, almost like the um, uh, Chinese um, method with the two, uh, the double line graph um, in the one article we read. Uh, it was something similar to that, so I thought that was a pretty cool visual that they used, um, and I really think that would be something good for the students. Um, then it gets to uh, the key idea is that you can use 
uh, proportions to solve for that problem that kind of shows the students how to do that. Um, next lesson is about percent equations. So then it breaks down. Instead of using proportions, you can use equation where you change the percent into a fraction or decimal and then you're multiplying. Um, and then the last three lessons are um, kind of using those techniques and stuff that they learned the first uh, four lessons and using them to solve percent increase and decrease. Uh, they do show the percent change formula um, during that. Um, discounts and markups kind of talk about the difference between a discount and a markup. Um, and then they show how to solve those types of problems and then the simple interest. Um, they give a formula for that, talk about what it is and everything. Um, but the first four lessons, I, I really felt built that foundation to where we get down the third, the last three lessons. And it's more of um, kind of showing real life act application of where the students would use that. So some pros and cons. I felt of the chapter, um, like I talked about a little bit, I really thought that the early lessons built a good understanding and base knowledge, which is something important uh, for students to kind of build that um, from the ground up, that foundation, and then go from there. I thought it was very visual uh, for the students, so they, they did provide a lot of um, visual uh, pictures that you can kind of see what we're talking about. I know a lot of the other materials they had in the lesson um, had great presentations and visuals that the students could use and see. Um, it provided plenty of materials. So um, this is um, I, on a website where you can log in and go to Big Ideas, and it provides all sorts of stuff that come with um, the curriculum that you can use for the different students and help all types of learners. Um, some cons, I felt like the lessons were kind of set up where you would teach the lesson, um, you would do some practice, and then it would be a lot of repetitive practice rather than varied. So that was something that we talked about or that we read in an article um, where you kind of want to have a good balance of that. Uh, you want to work more towards repetitive once, once they got it. And I, I really felt that a lot of the practice here was more repetitive rather than varied. Um, I, it would have been nice to see some more varied practice. And then um, that kind of goes along with the later lessons, like just kind of seemed to give like tricks um, and didn't really focus on building a base knowledge. I guess I would have liked more varied practice in the, in the later lessons rather than just the kind of repetitive stuff. Um, so, that's my presentation. That was what uh, my kind of insight on the or cri uh, critique of the curriculum. Look forward to your uh, feedback.